all of us go see physicians once in a while and it's always an expensive exercise. We need to take time off typically from a busy schedule, drive over, find a parking place, sit some time in the waiting room and then we have to go grab our car back, drive to the office or back home. That's a fairly small exercise as compared with the effort that we have to deal with when one takes a beloved family member who suffers from something like a Parkinson disease. Many of those patients with this debilitating disease are bound on wheelchair or they have difficulty walking a long distance. And one of the interesting questions we're looking at is how to use telemedicine in order to reduce the number of office visits for those patients. Telemedicine provides a simple idea. Instead of taking the patient physically into the doctor's office, the patient is seen by the physician using a technology like Skype, using a laptop computer or a desk desktop computer in the patient facility, either home or in a nursing home. We've started research looking at this question about two years ago under the leadership of Dr. Kevin Bigland and Dr. Ray Dorsey from the University of Rochester Neurology Department and with myself uh, from the Simon School of Business. We were looking at the uh, various questions surrounding the idea of implementing telemedicine for taking care of Parkinson patients. Specifically, what we were after. First, we wanted to know whether telemedicine makes sense clinically. Are we going to get similar outcome when patients are not driven physically into the doctor's office. Second, what will be the patient response? Will they feel they are getting subpar care or will they be happy with the care the way it is without the physician really touching them? So part of the touchy-feely equation will be different. Another question we're interested in is what will be the response of the caregivers, the family members, the nurses, the children, parents, and so on, the close family members of those patients. There were also some economic business questions, namely, what will be the impact on the uh, income stream of the providers? What will be the overall cost of patients who uh, go to telemedicine care with Parkinson's disease? What will be the competitive impact for the hospital who embark on this venture? Overall, the outcomes, the way we've seen them so far, are very encouraging. Medical outcomes are superior as compared with the patients who, in the control group, were not treated with telemedicine. Emotionally, patients felt they were getting superior care. In effect, they wanted to keep enrolled in these studies. Thirdly, the, the uh, family members were also very supportive of this initiative. So overall, what we have found already from our prototype study is telemedicine does make a lot of sense clinically, economically, socially, and emotionally. And we're going to see a lot of telemedicine taking place in the future. What telemedicine does in a nutshell, it takes the distance away from the equation and it's easier to move uh, data and images than to move either physicians or patients. So I see great future for telemedicine and my own sense is really the uh, best is yet to come.